Hello Doctor, you found someone to another video and as you can see we have probably one of the most uh, recognisable and probably iconic uh, Dalek sets that have actually been made. So we have History of the Dalek Set 9, also known as the Planet of the Dalek Set. So it's obviously iconic on many levels, not because we have finally have a re-release after over 14 years of the Planet of the Daleks Supreme Dalek, but also the very first release of the Clear Dalek also known as the Invisibility Dalek, or if you've, you know, Revelation Daleks, we have the Glass Dalek. So starting off with probably the new Dalek, as you can see, this is the very first time we've actually had this Dalek, which is slightly surprising when you think that it's just a clear Dalek, and you think it would have been made a long time ago, but after all this time of, well, character auctions producing Doctor Who figures, we finally have the clear Dalek. So details, obviously, when it comes to paint work, it's really hard to obviously give you an idea of, you know, oh, look at all that paint. It looks, as you can see, it has lots of good uh, paint detail. So I can only go on certain details. So as you can see, it still does have the, the mesh details, which is very nice that I've actually decided to still keep that. The eye is obviously very similar to that of the Planet Dalek set uh, a couple of uh, months back. But overall, it's really nice to actually have. Obviously, the detail when it comes to paintwork and paint apps, it's, it doesn't exist, obviously. But it's really nice that we've actually finally had this Dalek. And I do love that, you know, they've actually made quite a good effort. You can see sometimes the bits of the plastic that connect the Dalek up. But I think they've done their best to try and avoid trying to show as much as possible. But overall, I would say it's a pretty good Dalek. I like that they finally have actually released this Dalek. It's, you can put this in the Planet of the Daleks section. Or the revelation of the Dalek section, it sort of goes with both. The dome still moves and the eye still goes up and down. The gun arm also moves as well as the plunger arm. But overall, it's a really nice Dalek and I'm glad they've actually finally released it. So onto the most probably wanted re-release probably in Doctor Who figure history. We had the Planet of the Daleks Supreme Dalek. So this was released originally back in 2008. if you can believe it, where David Tennant was still the Doctor with Series 4 airing. So after all this time, they've actually decided to re-release it. We did obviously panic a while back. They just did two Planet of the Dalek Grey Daleks, and we thought there was an opportunity missed. But I'm finally glad they've actually decided to re-release this. So putting it side by side with the original release, released back in 2008, as you can see, there are quite a few differences. So starting from the bottom, the base, as you can see here, was just a, a standard matte black. Whilst now in the updated b and release, we actually have a more of a uh, gloss black. And this is actually seen throughout this Dalek model. So all the, the uh, black, as you can see on the base especially, is all matte black on the original release. Whilst the re-release, they've actually decided to do more of a gloss black. So they've actually decided to update a bit more. Which I think on the prop, we actually do see shine on the actual prop itself. So most likely a gloss black was actually used. So as you can see, there was a bit of gloss here on the original release, but you know not so much. And again, uh, putting your focus on the actual midsection itself, I'm not sure if you're able to see clearly, but as you can see, there's an oval on the original release, whilst here they've actually removed it, which is actually more accurate, considering that the Planet of the Dark Supreme Dark never actually did have an oval. And the main reason actually is was because it was actually a movie Dalek prop, which, and it, when this one was actually procured, never had the oval on it. So it's obviously nice to have actually removed this to actually make it a bit more accurate. Going further up as well, we go to the ears and the eye. So as you can see, it was more of a clear purpley plastic before, and now they've actually decided to do more of a slightly more deeper purple, but with more of a clouded look, which I actually quite like as well. It shows off the purple more, and as well as with the eye. So again, with the difference as well, you can see the B&M release has more of a, a red rim on the outside of the eye, whilst the original release has it more on the inside of the eye rather than on the outside of the rim. So obviously they've slightly tweaked it you know, a bit. And in addition to this, the outsider rim has actually been made silver, whilst on the original release, kept with the same white. 
So they've actually added I think, more detail as well. And to further show they've actually added more detail, is this little bit here, a bit of silver to separate the sort of the torch eye and the rings on the eye as well. Whilst here it was all kept blacked. So even though sometimes B and M have had their issues when it comes to re-releasing Daleks and missing paint work and everything, here they've actually I think gone above and beyond for a change. So that's one thing I do like with this Dalek is that they've actually gone for an effort to make sure as a re-release they've got it more specific to what it actually looked like on the show. And they've actually got it, I think they've really much got it spot on. And in addition to this, they've also altered the colouring as well. Not just the black, they've actually gone with more gloss, but they've also edited the colour of the gold as well. So as you can see with the original, it's more we had this kind of a dark kind of uh, shade of gold whilst here they've gone with a lighter kind of rose gold so it's a bit more lighter which I quite like because it offsets it more than the uh, gloss black so I think overall I do like the B&M release with what they've done and I do like how they sort of improved it I would say I'm not saying this is not perfect but I do love the added detail with this I think they've actually updated it more, they've given it a new shine, and I think it probably does look closer to the actual prop in the show. So I think overall I will still prefer the B&M release, even though this obviously is iconic with the dark gold. I like, I just love the colouring on this Dalek, I really do. And I'm so glad they've actually finally released it. So hopefully uh, a lot of you have managed to get it. If not, then I'll certainly try and recommend trying to find it. Um, ironically, some B&M stores still have a couple lying around in the country, so don't give up hope just yet. But again, I, I do like this Dalek a lot. It's certainly one of my favourites. I'm glad I don't need to be too careful anymore with this one because now there's a lot more out there, thanks to B&M. Um, so overall, let me know if you actually have this Dalek from the original release back in 2008 or you've managed to get hold of the brand new one from just 2022. But overall... It's certainly one of my favourite Daleks, and, you know, if you don't have it, you know, I would, you know, recommend that you probably try and find it, because you will love it. And if you've not watched the story, then I do think it's, the story is actually really great as well. Uh, it's certainly one of my all-time favourites. So, thank you for watching my video, and, you know, your subscriptions and your views are always much appreciated. So, keep following the Who Merchandise page and I'll make sure that I have videos a lot more frequently and hopefully I'll see you very very soon.